In this video, you'll learn how to use Gearco apps. There are several types of Gearco apps, and each one is displayed differently. System apps, embedded apps, and windowed apps. The first type is called a system app, and will always launch in a new browser tab. For example, when selecting a property within the Enterprise Manager, the corresponding system app will be opened in a new browser tab. Examine the tab and you'll notice the property code in parentheses along with the corresponding system name – hotel gears, apartment gears, or storage gears. Because system apps open in their own tab, you can multitask between properties or systems. Let's take a look at some of the elements of a system app. When you enter a system, a system workdate notice will appear, showing the current workdate and shift number for the property. At the top of a system app is the title bar where you'll find the corresponding system logo, followed by the property's local information. On the right side, you'll find a link to the release notes regarding what's new with Gearco. In addition, you can see the current version number, logged in username, and shift information. On the home screen, you'll find important information, such as property stats and property insight that has a map with real-time traffic, the current weather with a three to five day forecast, and rotating local news. To navigate within system apps, use the buttons on the home screen or the corresponding buttons on the navigation bar. The second type of app is the embedded app, which consumes the majority of the screen. Each embedded app will have its own app color. The task search app, for instance, is green, and the transaction search is orange. Embedded apps typically have a toolbar at the top that may be used to launch other windowed apps like the advanced payment app, for example. When a windowed app is launched, it will inherit the embedded app's color. In certain embedded apps, you may find a data grid. Data grids display information in a tabular spreadsheet view by rows and columns. You can sort information in ascending order by clicking on the data grid header. Clicking the header again reverses the sort order. To sort the information back to its original order, click the pound header. The third type of app is the windowed app which appears as a pop-up window and will have a descriptive title bar and may have several buttons to the right edge of the window. These buttons are used to control the visibility of the app. The down arrow minimizes the app to the lower left side of the screen, the up arrow returns the app to its original state, and the X will close the app, ignoring any changes made within the app if not saved. Below the app's title, there may be yet another toolbar. In the body of the windowed app, you'll find standard elements such as text fields, select lists, buttons, and more. These elements provide the basic data entry points and the method for controlling information within the app. Required fields are marked by a vertical red line on the left border, and if left blank, the app will not save the information. Multi-value text fields allow you to provide more than one value. The payment method is one such example. After clicking the link to enter your value, notice the next available multi-value field below it. To remove a value, simply click the red X to the right of the field. Below the body of the windowed app, there may be an action bar, which is used to execute a final action, typically a confirmation button to accept the app's entries, or a cancel button to close the app and ignore any changes. In the lower right corner of the app, you may find a resize handle. Click and drag to resize the app. Also, by clicking and dragging the title, you can move the windowed app around the screen. Thank you for learning more about Gearco Basics.